Hi friends, uh, my name is Maruti and I'm the co-founder of Krakow. In this video, I'll be explaining uh, what we have done to actually come up with the scaling and the personnel predictions. All of this data we are actually releasing. Uh, this will just have uh, the information about the scores. No personal details will be released. So even I think privacy should not be an issue. In fact, many of the people we have seen have been able to scrape our website to get access to the data. So I just felt uh, it will be better for me to actually explain uh, what exactly we have done. Because calculating percentiles will also require uh, some sort of uh, guesstimates. To, go, to get started, if you're looking at the sheet, you can download the sheet. The link to download the sheet is given in the description of this video. The link to download the sheet is also available in the Kraku CAT score calculator. And so once you go there, you can see that uh, the first tab is that of data of three slots. If you're looking at the first, uh, say, B, C, D and E columns, this basically consists of all the scores. There, I think, are around 83,000 people. So all the scores are part of this. This we got uh, it after people have submitted. So this will contain their score in VRC, LRDA, Quant and uh, the total score as well as their slot. Now G, H, I and J are basically just sorted uh, list. So for example, G2 over here represents the highest score in slot 1 in VRC. Similarly, uh, H2 will tell us the highest score in LRDA and uh, I2 will tell us the highest score in Quant. Similarly, because we need to know the 0.1 percentile, that is what is the average score of the toppers in each of the three slots. That is the reason we are using the columns G, H and I. Now what we have assumed is that uh, if you're looking at uh, 2.9 lakhs, the total number of people who have taken uh, the examination, one percentile will be uh, 2,900. 0.1 percentile will be 290. If you're dividing it across three slots, approximately that will be around uh, say 100 students, say 95 students or so, will be uh, the 0.1 percentile in each of the slots. What we assumed is that out of those 100 students, say around 70 students would have uploaded their uh, response sheet in Kraku. That is out of 100, 70 have uploaded. So across like the 290, approximately 210 would have uploaded on Kraku. This is just an estimate we are making. It can be more or less. But normally in our uh, experience, what we have seen is the toppers tend to upload their uh, score sheets. So with that assumption, the average of the top 0.1 percentile across all the three slots, you can calculate in the three sections, VRC, LRDA and Quant. This is a parameter which is involved in scaling. So that is what we have done. So you can calculate it that uh, VRC top 0.1 percentile, the average is 54, uh, LRDA is 54 and uh, Quant is 49. Similarly, we have done the same thing for all the three slots. So for slot one also, we have been able to do something similar to it. So in slot one, I think there are around 29,000 people. Again, we put all of their data over here, VRC, LRDA, Quant uh, and slot one. Again, we have sorted them off uh, across uh, from highest to lowest. And each slot to calculate the 0.1 percentile, we assume that it would be approximately 70 students, like we discussed earlier. So the VRC toppers is around 56 in slot 1, LRDA is 58, in quant it is 46. We have done the exact same thing for slot 2, I think there are I think around 27,000 people. For slot 2 also you calculate the uh, score of the toppers uh, for slot 2 as well as for slot 3. Slot 3 I think again there are around 27,000 people. We have done the exact same thing. Why did we do this? Because if you go through the uh, score scaling uh, formula that is used, that uh, sheet or the document is given in the CAT website, you will notice that uh, the average score across the three slots for the three sections is one of the parameters. We have so calculated the 0.1 percentile uh, average score across the three slots across the three sections. Once you do it, we go to the summary tab. Over here, I'm just noting down the average across all the three slots. This average is just based on the data that we have. So now we know that uh, the average across slot 1 in VRC is 14. Uh, for slot also is 14, slot 3 is 12.8. Similarly, we calculate the standard deviation for slot 1, slot 2 and slot 3. All of this is actually needed to calculate the scaling. The formula is given over there. Based on it, we'll get the value of G, which is mean plus standard deviation for all the three sections across the three slots. We have calculated it for each of the three slots as well as the overall number. Once we have done it, uh, like we discussed earlier, we also calculated the mean of the 0.1 percentile. Again, for the 0.1 percentile, just to reiterate, we assumed that out of 100 toppers in 0.1 percentile, 70 would have uploaded on Kraku. So based on it, we'll get a mean for the 0.1 percentile. And based on it, we'll get a constant term, which is again used in the scaling. This information also is given in the CAT uh, website about how the scaling actually happens. This constant, you will be able to figure out what I'm actually saying. This scale, uh, this is basically dependent on how the 0.1 percentile, how much they have scored in addition uh, as compared to the average overall and across in each of the slot. That is what this constant is. The ratio of the 0.1 percentile outscoring the mean 
across all the three slots in comparison to that one particular slot. It is a slightly confusing formula, but we have just applied what our formula is actually given. And based on it, we get a raw to scale score uh, deviation. So for example, we use the same thing to get the formula. So we are see in slot one, if somebody scored minus 24, what would that scaling be? Uh, and we'll get it for each of the numbers. So for example, somebody who scored VRC 9, what would their scale be? This is just based on those constants that we received. We have used the formula that is given in the CAT uh, website, the document. Once we got it, we have been able to figure out the scale score of all the people. So for example, the 29,000 people who were there in slot 1, what is their scale score in VRC? What is their scale score in LRDA? What is their scale score in Quant? And what is their overall scale score? We calculated it for all the 29,000 people for all the three slots and we have done it for slot 2 and slot 3 as well. Once we did it, we tabulated all of that information. So we got a scale score for each of the 83,000 people in VRC, in Quant, in LRDI and overall. Once we got it, we have sorted them out so that the highest scale score is at the top, the highest uh, LRDI is at the top, the highest Quant is at the top and highest overall is at the top. Note that all of them need not belong to the same person. In most cases, it doesn't belong to the same person. So this is uh, the highest scale score is for somebody. Let us say it is A. Highest scale score in LRDI is somebody else who is B. Highest scale score in Quant is somebody else who is say, C. And highest scale score overall belongs to another person say who is D. Once we got it, again, this is the uh, descending order arrangement of uh, scale scores for all the three sections as well as the overall. Then to calculate the percentiles, here we made some assumptions. I'll tell you the assumptions. These are just assumptions that we made, which I think are uh, guesstimates. Uh, these are honest guesstimates. Basically, we feel that this can happen and we uh, put that over here. I'll tell you what we actually did. So suppose all the 2,90,000 people have uploaded their uh, sheet on Krakow. Right now it is only 83,000, but suppose all the 2,90,000 people have uploaded and in these columns, suppose we are able to get the scale score uh, with, for all the 2.9 lakhs. Then to find out what is the 99.95 percentile, we have to basically figure out the 145 highest rank. That is, in the scale score, 99.95 would be uh, across 2.9 lakh students, the 145th rank. But we know, everybody knows that all of them have not uploaded their uh, sheet on Krakow. <coughs> How many people have uploaded? It is around 83,000. So what is the ratio? The ratio is 2,90,000 divided by 83,000 will come to approximately 3.5. So on an average, one in every 3.5 students have uploaded their sheets on Krakow. But this is not uniform. It won't happen that uh, in the top 1% also, one in 3.5 uploaded. And even in the bottom, it is one in 3.5. What we have noticed in general is that students who have done well tend to upload their sheets. Many students who are at the bottom would not really upload their sheets because they know that the exam hasn't gone well or maybe they are not serious aspirants. There can be many reasons for it. So what we do is we invent a new column called ratio. At the bottom, that is at around the 20th percentile. We say that, okay, the rank that we have to ideally identify for all the 2.9 lakhs would be the 2.32 lakh rank. If we had all the 2.9 lakh students, this is the rank that we need to identify. But because we don't have it, we'll just take, uh, we'll divide it by 3.5 and that will come to around 66,000 and we will put it there. But as we keep coming slightly higher, that is for the 30th percentile, we won't divide it by 3.5, we'll divide it by 3.3. As uh, the percentile keeps on increasing, the ratio also keeps uh, decreasing. Essentially, at the top, the assumption that we made is that in the top 99.95% uh, percentile plus students who are basically the toppers, one out of every 1.2 has uploaded their sheet on Krakow. Above 99.9% percentile, as you can see the ratio, the assumption that we made is that one out of every 1.3 will upload their sheet on Krakow. 99.5, it is one in every 1.4 and so on. Suppose if you are looking at 85 percentile, the ratio that we have uploaded or the ratio that we used is 2. That would essentially mean that one in every two students who scored above 85 percentile has uploaded their sheet on Krakow. As you keep on coming down, that ratio will hit 3.5, which is the actual ratio. That is because you can figure out that out of 2.9 lakhs divided by 83,000 is around 3.5. Based on it, we were able to extract the percentiles for VRC, LRDI and Quant. Now, many of you might feel that, okay, this seems like a very random hack. Many of you might feel that this might uh, have many issues, which is actually true. It is definitely possible that there will be definitely issues. There will also be some inaccuracies. But in general, what I feel is the scaling, I think, will be pretty accurate because before the scaling, we made very few assumptions. We just went by whatever the data is there. Now, once the scaling is out, we started making assumptions with respect to this ratio based on how many people out of 100 would have uploaded their sheets on Krakow. 
the assumption that we made which i think is uh, logical is that students who have done well will upload their sheets more these are all assumptions that we made these ratios are also assumptions that we made and we are trying to make it uh, the ratio also is, is not going to be uh, stationary it is not going to be like uh, a constant 3.5 it will be lesser at the start and it will continue and it will increase and reach 3.5 at the end this is basically something that seems to have worked out in the last few years and we have been doing it quite a lot and uh, this is what we believe it is definitely likely that we might have gotten it wrong but uh, there is no nefarious intent in this we are just showing you all the data to ensure more transparency